what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Singer Neo broke down during his rendition of Boys to Men's song, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday. The moment came when he got all choked up during the chorus that says, I thought we'd get to see forever, but forever has gone away. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. He also faced some backlash for referring to George Floyd's death as a sacrifice. What did Neo say? He said, 50 states are protesting at the same time. This man changed the world. I want to thank George Floyd for his sacrifice so that my daughter can be all right. I thank you for the sacrifice. I really do. Now, when he uttered those words, I said, he's about to go viral. I mean, I heard it. Now, I knew what he meant. So I didn't hold it against him because being murdered is not a sacrifice. Like, you minding your own business or you're coming out of a store uh, and you get arrested for a misdemeanor and a police officer puts his knee on your neck and basically leaves it there, applies pressure until the air leaves your body. That's not a sacrifice. That's murder. That is a tragedy. Now, a lot of people went in on Neil. Well, how you gonna say that's a sacrifice? Not a sacrifice. Yeah, you know, that is not a sacrifice. You don't sacrifice like that. Da, 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 da. I was surprised that so many people attacked him. I, I, I knew it was gonna be a viral moment, but I didn't think that people was going to be so venomous. I thought a lot of people would probably try to figure out a way to make a joke out of it because, because you know us, man. We can make a joke out of anything. But I was there, and I didn't see anything particularly wrong with what he said. Yeah, he could have worded it better. I'm saying, well, put it like this. I didn't see anything that was malicious about what he said. I felt like he, he could have chosen a better, uh, you know, a, a, a better way to say it. He could have done that. But he didn't. And as far as I'm concerned, what he said was harmless. I think it could have been nervous energy. Another thing is this. I didn't know if he forgot the words to the song or if it was that he was just choked up. I don't know. I would have thought he'd have been able to get through the song. I understand it's an emotional time. Now, if George Floyd was a family member and, you know, a friend, a close friend, I could perhaps see that because now you're singing these songs and these words and they got way more meaning because you have these personal relationships probably spinning in your head at the same time you're singing a song. You, you got these moments that you guys had together and you're thinking about this stuff. It's playing out in your head while you're singing and I can see perhaps not being able to get through it. And I don't know why people do that anyway. Like I know people that know people personally and they'll come to the funeral and they sing these songs or they, you know, they give a speech and they can't get through it. I mean, but I guess it's one of those things that each person has to deal with themselves. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like you gotta, it's one of those situations where if you don't say something, if you don't speak at the funeral, if you don't sing, you may feel like you missed an opportunity to have some form of closure or do uh, for your friend or family member, your loved one, uh, a final favor. You know, because oftentimes we do things based on what we think the deceased would like, right? So I get it, I get it. It's one of those, it's, it's an individual call. I don't know if I could have done it though, like speak to somebody that I know really, really close. Well, I've been able to do that, but I'm talking about singing is something different because you got to be on note. 
Like, you, you, mean, you gotta, you don't get to stop and cry, you know, or uh, get yourself together when you're singing, right? You're supposed to be able to get through it. But nevertheless, I didn't really see that big of a problem with it. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm with Neo on this. And I would say, you know, lay off the dude. I mean, the dude came all the way to H-Town to attend the funeral. He didn't have to do that. Uh, he's a superstar already. He can get attention anywhere he go. So I do believe that what he said came from the heart. It was a good gesture. It was all positive. There's no reason why his name should be attached to something negative. I understand what he said and how it can be misconstrued, but to attack him, okay. If you want to get at him, okay, get at him with kids' gloves. If you, if you just got the comment, well, go ahead, but do it with kids' gloves. I personally don't like making negative statements when somebody does something positive. Like even sometimes people can do something positive, but they may not, they may not do it right and totally in the right way or whatever, in the right manner. And sometimes you can see it. And the first thing out of your mouth is the negative thing instead of the good gesture. So I tend to focus on the positive side first. And because I know it's going to be enough people that's going to be coming after you for anything negative that you do or anything that can perceive to be uh, negative or flaw. But anyway, uh, y'all raise up Bob Neal. Man, leave that kid alone, man. You know, uh, no harm, no foul. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?